I'm Laura and I run Little Steamers classes teaching STEAM, that's science, technology, engineering, arts and maths, to children in the early years through play and exploration. I'm working in collaboration with TTS to bring you fun and simple activities that will inspire STEAM learning for the children in your setting. In this short video, I'm going to show you my Nature Hunters activity that will get your children exploring outside like little scientists and using technology too. So maybe the weather's getting better and you're going outside a bit more. Or maybe you're learning about mini beasts or plants. Or maybe it's, the weather's a bit colder and you're looking for a reason to get children outside. Well, with the Nature Hunter activity, we're going to go outside in just a second. But first of all, I wanted to show you the equipment that we're going to use. Um, these magnifying glasses from TTS. These aren't just regular magnifying glasses because they're recordable magnifying glasses too. So before we go out and I talked to you about the activity, I thought it was important to show you very quickly how they work. So there's a little button on the bottom. They're very simple for children to use. They, you push them across to record so you could do that for them. You press the button once to record and then again to stop. So let me show you. I'm using a recordable magnifying glass. It bleeps twice when it stops. Then you push the button over to play. Press again. I'm using a recordable magnifying glass. Just like that. So very simple for the children to use. All right, now I've shown you how to use these. Let's go outside and I can tell you how you can use them with your own children. So here we are outside so I can show you my Nature Hunters activity. Now, as you'll know, children love getting to use new gadgets and they love treasure hunts too. So we're gonna combine the two, but make sure we keep the explorations really scientific. The focus here is on making and recording observations. And it's okay to use the term observations with them, giving them that scientific vocabulary that they can then use themselves. So you're going to start by giving each child their own magnifying glass and telling them that they're going to go on a nature hunt outside looking for something. So as I said, you could combine this with um, a mini beast topic, a seasons topic, or even maybe a trip to go somewhere new. So once they've got the magnifying glass, you're going to have to show them how the basics of a magnifying glass work. You may have used other kinds of magnifying glasses before. Just inside, they can spend a bit of time kind of moving the magnifying glass, looking at their own hand, talking about how it makes it bigger and smaller as they move it. Once they've got the hang of that, you're going to have to teach them how to use the recording device itself. So I've shown you that earlier, but give them a few times to just have a little practice in the classroom before you go outside so they've understood how to make those recordings so they don't all end up losing them by the time they come back in. So once they know how to use the glass, how to use the recording feature. You can model how to make the observations, how to record those observations yourself. So you could give them a sentence starter like I see or I observe. So I'll show you an example here. So I'm going to observe this dandelion flower on the floor. I'm going to keep it fairly simple using some colours, some description words. So got it on record. I observe a small yellow flower. It has long yellow petals, lots of them. And there, I've shown them one of my own observations. So once they know what they're gonna do, that's when you need to give them the thing that they're looking for. Do keep this to one specific thing per child because each time they make a new recording, it records over the previous recording. So if they're looking for lots of things, they're gonna keep recording over themselves. So one thing that they're looking for. You could tell them what it is. You could give them a little card with a picture or a word on. You could even make use of this part of the magnifying glass by writing or having a picture of what it is that they're looking for there. So once they know what they're looking for, once they know how to use everything, send them off outside, tell them to get observing, give them a bit of time, and when they've made their observations, recorded their observations using technology, it's time to come back together inside the classroom. The great thing about making observations and recording them on devices like this is, you can all listen back and share the things that children have seen. You could even include them in an interactive display, a sound display, 
with maybe pictures of the children exploring or pictures of the things that they describe. So once you're back in the classroom, you can choose whether you want the children to all play their recordings and their observations to each other to listen to, or maybe sit down and draw pictures of the things that they observed. So the great thing about these devices is you can use them with loads and loads of topics. Um, they don't even really have to be STEAM based. You could set up any sort of treasure hunts that you like for children to go around and record what they see. And they'll be developing their communication and language skills too. Thanks for watching my Nature Hunters video. I hope you enjoyed this technology based activity to get your children outdoors and using some science too. You might also want to check out my uh, ramp races and my potions activities for some fun and hands-on engineering and science. So all of these activities are really great for STEAM but also for lots of other skills like fine motor skills, creativity, problem solving, maybe even collaboration too. And TTS have a great selection of STEAM resources so you can head online to get things like these recordable magnifying glasses and lots more STEAM uh, resources too. And if you'd like me to help you bring STEAM learning to the children in your setting, you can use my little STEAMers class online as a one-off or more regularly for some fun and easy STEAM activities that you can do. So check out um, littlesteamers.co.uk for more information and you can try one for free. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have fun with Nature Hunters with your own children and I hope I will see you again in a class soon. Bye.